Okay, in this video we'll show the same uh, Enco 9x20 lathe, uh, 1990 vintage, made in Taiwan. Uh, I'm going to show the uh, three jaw chuck, the run out on the chuck, and uh, what I've got here is uh, one of these uh, ground drill blanks from Ch Chicago Latrobe. Uh, they're nice and accurate, ground and polished. Half inch one is there in the chuck, and uh, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit on the uh, dial indicator just to show what kind of uh, accuracy this, uh, this system has here. So we'll flip this on now. And even, uh, I don't know, four and a half inches, let's say, from the chuck, it's almost run out free. That's a terrifically uh, accurate little lathe. Uh, I use this uh, I use this coax indicator on the uh, uh, last video to show uh, the socket, the Morse Taper 3 socket, and uh, run out, very low run out. Actually, I couldn't even observe it with that coax indicator. So uh, we're looking at extremely uh, accurate little lathe, and uh, that's worked out really well. It is a 220 volt motor, and uh, it's uh, 1990 vintage. It's going to come with uh, several accompanying uh, tools. It's got uh, four jaw chuck, it's got a uh, face plate, it's got a steady rest, and uh, over here in the corner, I can't really see it, uh, steady rest and a follow rest is right here. It's got a sort of tooling, a live center, a knurling tool. Uh, it's going to have a, uh, a cross A uh, phase two quick change tool post on it as well. So uh, there are change gears for it, though uh, it's really only necessary if you're changing from uh, metric to English gears. Uh, it does have a good change uh, gearbox on it, which is very nice. This works real well. And, uh, and it's got a spare belt and uh, the original manual and uh, all the parts for the original tool post. This is Lucas signing off.